waking up with us. I'm Carolyn Bruck. We're going to get to the day's top stories in just a few minutes. But first, let's check in with Larry for a look at your forecast. And it's a holiday weekend forecast. It certainly is. Good morning. Yeah, it should, uh, should be a nice weekend. Let's talk about today. It'll be pretty hot today. Hour by hour we go. Uh, by around 1 o'clock, we're in the upper 80s, low 90s for the middle of the afternoon. Late nights, we're out and about about 10 o'clock. Temperatures right around 81 degrees. Seven-day forecast does show the big change in our weather picture as we head right into the upcoming weekend. Low 90s today. We're in the 80s tomorrow. Should be a great looking weekend. 84 tomorrow, about 83 on Sunday, up to near 87 on Monday as far as another rain chance. Not until probably the middle of next week we see a chance of showers and storms. But notice all of the weekend, the next week, temperatures will be way below the 90 degree mark. So some cooler temperatures on the way for the weekend and beyond. Carolyn. Larry, thanks so much. Turning to five big stories of the day in your morning rush. Today is the day for hundreds of businesses in North Carolina as they get the chance to reopen their doors. Gyms, playgrounds, museums, bowling alleys, all included in this new phase. They are, of course, still capacity limits for these places. They can't let everybody in, but most of the places can only be about 30% full. They still have to follow social distancing guidelines and mask requirements. Nearly three weeks into the semester, we're told some CMS students don't have internet access to log on for virtual learning. Three weeks without school. So the CMS Foundation is trying to raise more than $3 million to buy enough internet hotspots for every child in need. The district set up exterior Wi-Fi at several school buildings as well and is teaming up with community organizations to create remote learning centers. North Carolina parents, there could be a $335 check headed your way. The General Assembly just passing a new relief bill that would send that money to every household with at least one child. The checks are expected to roll out in December, but the bill still has to be signed by Governor Cooper. Soon, we're going to have a better idea of how COVID-19 is affecting South Carolina schools. State health leaders will give their first report on cases among students and staff today. The numbers will be updated twice per week. Colleges not included, but many are reporting those daily cases counts online. Today, North Carolina will begin mailing out ballots for the November election. You can fill one out as soon as you receive it or wait until Election Day. If you still need to request one, you can do so online or through the mail until October 27th. Making Election Day a holiday, that's the proposal from one Matthews lawmaker. His proposal would give town workers a day off on Election Day. It would also encourage businesses to give workers some time to get to the polls. Um, so this really would help everybody. We hear you. We believe your voice is worth the same as every other person's voice and that you should be able to give time, ample time off to get your voice heard. A lot of companies are already planning to give workers the day off. Uh, Coca-Cola, Best Buy, Gap, Nike. The NFL also um, has no one working on Election Day because it wants everyone to get out there and vote. An Election Day holiday is a big talker. Ethan says it definitely would help people who don't feel like they can take the time off actually get to the polls. Rico is already celebrating because his company already has made that move, so we want you to weigh in. Use the hashtag WakeUpCLT. Let us know what you think. It's time to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. We are all our own worst critics, right? But it turns out working from home could actually be making things worse. Workdays packed with video meetings can affect how we view ourselves. Let's connect the dots. From filtered photos to touched up selfies, unattainable beauty fills our social feeds. Experts say edited pictures often lead to feelings of inadequacy and the daily Zoom calls haven't helped. One in 50 people suffer from body image dissatisfaction. It's a disorder that leads to difficulty focusing when cameras are involved. Zoom calls can trigger an obsession with appearance and make it almost impossible to pay attention to your meeting. To avoid the distraction, look for a setting where you can't see yourself on screen and redirect your focus back to the meeting when you feel your thoughts start to stray. If you need more help, write down the things you value about yourself when you start to nitpick about your image. An expert suggests limiting your social media scrolling when you're off the clock. The less time you spend on social media, the higher your self-esteem will be. And that's Connecting the Dots. Now to some stories to keep you and your family safe and sound today. Nothing quite says happy birthday like catching COVID-19. During these pandemic times, blowing out candles just is not safe anymore. That is until now. So check this out. A dentist created a cake shield to allow people to still blow out their birthday candles, but then protect the cake from germs. It comes in different sizes. Prices start at just five bucks. Don't know what day it is. Can't remember where you left your keys. Well, welcome to my world. But seriously, it turns out a lot of us are having trouble remembering some of the simple things. Experts say the pandemic and spending lots of time at home making it harder for us to focus. So they suggest a hobby to keep your brain active. 
exercising more, perhaps doing a puzzle. It's always fun. All right, make sure you watch us each and every weekday morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on Wake Up Charlotte. We'd love to have you. In the meantime, have a great Labor Day weekend.